I want to teach you about how to post a classroom request on DonorsChoose.org. Let me tell you about how DonorsChoose works. So first, teachers post a project and you can ask for anything you need, for, including class trips, professional development, books you need, pencils, backpacks, health and safety, and of course, things for science, arts, and math. Ultimately, almost 80% of projects get funded on Donors Choose through your network of friends, partners, students, parents, and also from their funders, which include Google, Ripple, and many other major corporations. After your project is funded, Donors Choose orders the materials and they're shipped straight to your school. Teachers choose to use Donors Choose because it is extremely easy and user-friendly. You can get the exact materials you need. If you want a special kind of pencil, you can find that kind of pencil. Donors Choose has a lot of donors and partners who are very willing to help fund classrooms all across the country for teachers in their area, not in their area, um, and people they do not know. I have had projects funded by church groups in South Korea. Donors Choose is built by and for educators to help you succeed. The organization wants to make it as easy as possible for you to be successful in your classroom and in getting the materials you need to teach your students. And at Donors Choose, they believe that you know what your children need. Briefly, Donors Choose has been around for almost 18 years. They have raised, as you can see, over $600 million directly for classroom materials, class trips, class visitors, and teacher professional development. Over 1 million projects have been funded for 400,000 teachers. So today, I want to make sure that at the end of this webinar, you will be ready to submit a classroom project on Donors Choose. On the DonorsChoose.org interface, this is what a project looks like. You can see that on the screen, it'll show how many people have donated, how much money is needed. It's very fun to watch that little orange bar move closer and closer. You'll need to register a picture of your classroom environment or your school, and you may choose to add a profile picture. Tell a little bit about you, the grades you teach, and your campus, and then the request you write will be formatted for you and posted on the site. Some parts of this you write new every time for the specific materials that you need. Other portions can stay the same. Donors Choose saves those uh, paragraphs you've written to make it easy for you to post new projects for your classroom. Let's get started making an account on Donors Choose. It's really easy to do. I'd like to recommend that you use this link here to register. If you use this link, it will put a cookie on your computer that will let me know when you post a project. Donors Choose will send me codes to give $30 in two different donations to jumpstart your funding. So I'm gonna say the link as well. It's share.donorschoose.org backslash capital I capital T Q capital L capital N. If you use that code, I will start your donations once your project is posted. As soon as you've registered on Donors Choose, you'll need to agree to the user agreement, find your school, all public schools in the United States are eligible for Donors Choose, enter some easy details about your teaching, uh, what grades you teach, uh, or what subject areas, Enter your contact information, including your school address, make sure everything's right, and they'll send you through a brief tutorial. If you're ready to set up a teacher's account, click on the blue link. Don't forget, you'll want to make sure that you have a photo to get your account started. Once you've done that, you, this will be your entry screen every time you come to Donors Choose. On the side, they'll have little resources for you that you can look into, including tips from the blog, uh, match offers, which are often dollar for dollar or um, ha uh, 50 cents for a dollar matches uh, for various types of projects or in various areas of the country, and other projects that teachers in your area are looking for. This can help you plan for things you need. When you're ready to start a project, just click on the Creative Project blue uh, plus sign. This is when you get started writing your project. Remember, these descriptions do not need to be very long. Uh, 50 word minimum, you can say as much as you want, but don't feel like you're gonna have to do a lot of writing. 
You'll want to make sure to give some information about your students. You might want to tell about your school environment. Are you in an urban area, a rural area? How many students are at your school? Is it a K-5 school, K-8, high school? Let people know about your school. You also want to say something about your students and their families. Are many students bilingual or English language learners? Do you teach an inclusion classroom? What's the age range of your students? How do you build your classroom community? What excites your students? This information helps donors know a little bit more about you and gets people excited to give you what you need. Now that you've put that information in, you'll be prompted to go shopping. Donors Choose has its own vendor directory. I recommend for your first project, start with this vendor directory. You can get almost anything you need. If you do need specialized items, there are ways to do that. Feel free to contact me for more information. For your first project, I do recommend asking for supplies. Class trips, visitors, and professional development projects are a little more difficult to put together. Starting with this will get you ready to go and used to using donors' shoes. There is information available to you. It says where to find commonly requested items. I also want you to know that some vendors, including Amazon, can only be accessed using a desktop or laptop computer, not your tablet or a phone. So I recommend doing your project on a laptop or desktop computer. If you need some suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. This is what the interface looks like once you've selected your vendor. This is for AKJ, which essentially has books. Uh, you'll see um, it'll look essentially like any shopping website you go to. It'll fill a cart that you then import to donors choose by clicking a link. We recommend that most projects are under $600. While 80% of all projects fund, smaller projects fund the most rapidly. And it, you also generate points for each completed project, which enables you to put up more, more expensive, and more specialized projects in the future. I recommend $400 or less in your first project. If you have something that needs a lot of supplies, you might want to break that up into two or three smaller projects that can fund individually. However, if you really do need something big, like a 3D printer, feel free. Over two-thirds of those projects do fund. Once you've filled your shopping cart and it's been imported to donors choose, you'll uh, be directed to this screen. First you need a project title. There are examples available to you right there by clicking the link. You want to make something that's engaging and catchy that will make people look at your project. You also will tell a little bit about how students are going to use those materials. Again, we're all, it's only going to be about 50 words necessary, but feel free to say more. You're going to tell how your students will use the materials and what your goals are. Make sure to mention some of the specific supplies you're asking for, especially those that are more expensive or might be harder for donors to understand why you need them. If you have any questions about this, again, I'm totally willing to help you get started. When you click submit on your project, which you will have a chance to go through one last time, make sure it looks the way you want, uh, teacher volunteers read it and if necessary will email you uh, with some explanations and suggestions to polish it up. But generally, the projects are ready to go. Once it is finished, it gets posted on DonorsChoose.org. You'll be sent an email so that you can share it through your social media or by printing flyers. All of these links will be available to you on your project page. When you do have a posted project, as a first-time user of Donors Choose, you can spread uh, information about your project, including the word LIFTOFF, spelled with no spaces, all caps. This is a friends and families code for your first project, and it provides a dollar for dollar match on your first project you post for the first week, up to $50 per donor. For a small project that you need four or $500 for, that can get you funded very quickly. Again, if you've used the share link from earlier, I will receive an email that you have posted a project and I will receive two donation codes that I will put to give your project an extra boost. That'll be your first $30. Some quick tips and tricks for funding your project. You might want to do some comparison shopping in your vendor directory. Some vendors have the same materials and some are more expensive, whereas others are less expensive. Again, if you're looking for specific materials, this might be worth your time. It takes a little extra effort. On the other hand, if you're just looking for something like crayons, you're just going to want to maybe skip this step. 
Again, try to keep your first project cost low, under $600, and again, I recommend for about $400. Share your project widely. Share it on your Facebook. Donors Juice has pre-written emails and Twitter links you can put from your project site. Make sure to share it around. You can also send fundraising flyers that you can print directly from the site. And make sure to check local match offers for your district or for specific kinds of projects to help make the most of your donations. For instance, last year Salesforce was offering a 5 to 1 match, $5 for every one donated dollar for projects for health, safety, and living care needs for students. You can find specific match offers sorted by area or type of projects at donorschoose.org backslash match offers. Once your project is funded, first, congratulations to you. You'll receive an email letting you know your project is funded. At that time, you'll be asked to uh, go through a few little screens. One, confirming the address you want your materials sent to, confirming that you still need those materials, and then writing a 50-word quick thank you letter that donors choose will post for your donors. Once it's funded, and you've sent your small thank you letter and confirmed your need for the supplies, the supplies will be purchased by Donors Choose and shipped to your school. Once you get the resources, congratulations, get started on your project. After that, you may be asked to have your children write thank you notes for donors, and you'll be asked to take some photos and post those on Donors Choose. You'll also write a slightly longer thank you letter. This can feel a little overwhelming, especially having your kids write thank you notes, but again, feel free to reach out to me and you'll see that you only need about five thank you notes for any donor who has requested them. It's possible to get these done quite quickly. DonorsChoose.org has suggestions to help you with your thank you notes as well. If you're ready to get started, go to Donors Choose. And again, if you have any questions about getting started, feel free to email me, M-O-L-E-S-S-J -S -S at sfusd.edu. Good luck getting what you need for your students.